Police in Liberty City can be hard at times. That's why an officer like me from the LCPD is required to watch the streets. Most of the time it's just standard patrols, looking after pedestrians, walking around the local area and just being safe. Making sure the police messages sent around the neighborhood. The most common call is domestic. Basically a domestic disturbance is where one partner or a female or male occupant is either caused some harm to the one and they've reported it into us, so my job is basically to head down there and um, just basically look over the situation. Once I've arrived, um, I will arrest both suspects. Um, during the situation, sometimes I'll arrest the male or female suspect. The most important thing is just to basically get them out of the house and um, just get them away from each other so we can sort this down out at the station. So as you can see here, the female suspect's fleeing, so I believe that the male suspect needs to be arrested so we can apprehend any further violence. So I'm going to bring him into the station. I'm going to handcuff him here just um, for my own safety and obviously safety for the officers that are actually going to come and respond. I'm going to call in some other officers to actually bring him back down to the station. Obviously I've got to keep on the beat. The Central Park area has quite a lot of incidents, especially within the park itself. You've got a lot of gang and other sort of related violence that I've got to really look after and be safe around. So I'm going to get back on the patrol. Um, basically the main message of Liberty City is we've got a lot of different sort of cultures here. We've got quite a large Chinese culture and also we've got quite a big Asian culture as well and the cultures can often clash and it really have some serious problems. There's a lot of biker gangs in the area as well. But the main point of this patrol and this area is just to make sure we're on the beat and see what's actually happening in Liberty City. As we can see here this pedestrian has just been hit by a car and he decided to take out his revenge on the suspect itself. So basically what we're going to do is head over, apprehend both suspects and bring them in for further questioning. Obviously, hitting a pedestrian is a crime in itself, but dragging a guy out of his car and trying to beat him up, we need to solve both of these problems here. So I'm going to arrest them both and I'm going to get a transport vehicle to take them away. I'm going to put their hands and handcuff them nice and tight. You can also see there's some slight damage to that vehicle as well and it's probably not roadworthy. So when I'm back at the station I'll file some paperwork on that and make sure it's all good to go. There we go, we'll do the second guy. The second guy looks to be a homeless individual. Obviously these people are responsible for a lot of the violence in the city. It um, became a little later on in the day here. Um, I'm just about to clock off and I see this guy pull into this loading bay. Obviously he's not a vehicle so he's not got a permit to actually park there. Then this incident follows. The guy gets thrown out of the car by this female suspect and he takes off. Obviously I feel that the male is actually in a direct threat here so I decide to stop the female and I can take her and ask her for any further questions. So I'm going to arrest her, basically frisk her down, make sure she's not got any weapons. Obviously something's gone down here so I want to know what's happening. Also that car does look in a bit of a state so I'm going to have to give him a ticket for that. But first of all we need to search the suspect and make sure they've not got any weapons that could harm us. And we need to further question them what that male suspect was doing running from her. It could be as simple as he just had a simple argument with her and he pushed her out of the vehicle or he pushed her and so on. But we need to get to the bottom of this. I mean, that's what it's all about. Liberty City Police Department, we've got to solve these sort of tasks. I'm just going to basically frisk her down here using the right keys. We've got the police vehicle over there. Left the door open, a bit of a silly mistake. Check the vehicle after we've checked her if nothing comes up and we'll keep her handcuffed. For our own safety, of course. I would call in further units to arrest and apprehend the other suspect, but I believe I can get the most of the information out of her on this one. Quick review of this trunk, let's see what's in it. Hopefully there's nothing too illegal and we can basically write this one off as a simple offence. Oh, we found a loaded weapon in the trunk, so basically a loaded weapon in Liberty City is basically illegal. You can carry a weapon, but you're not allowed to have it loaded in your car. So obviously that's a fine in itself and I'm also going to ticket the car for being illegally parked and being damaged and not roadworthy. So we'll take this person back down to the station, we'll review this and I hope you enjoyed this video, a bit of a different style. And if you like it make sure you like and comment below and I'll see you next time.